Hi, I'm Lori from Hair by Lori. Today I've got a tutorial for you teaching you how to do my soft curls. I'll also talk about some variations and how to achieve some different curled looks, as well as share some tips for you and for your hair curling at home. So if you like this kind of video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and videos. Let's get started. So I'm gonna be using a curling wand today to curl my hair. It is my absolute favorite way to curl my hair, my girl's hair, anyone else's hair. Um, I feel like a curling wand, it's faster, it's easier to use once you get the hang of it, and the curls stay in so much longer. When I use a traditional curling iron, um, it takes longer and then the curls fall out by the end of the day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just spent a half an hour on these curls and you can't even tell. That's the worst feeling. So, um, but since I've been using a curling wand, my curls will last me not just all day, but like for days. And they'll slowly kind of fall out um, and loosen and soften, but they last so much longer. So um, I've got a link down below to the Nume styling wand that I'm using today. Um, and also I'll mention I am using this hot iron holster um, to hold it. This thing is really fantastic. I've talked about it before, but it sticks to any smooth, non-porous surface. So um, I've got it on a chair here, but you can use it like on your pedestal sink in a bathroom if you don't have a lot of counter space. It's awesome for that. And it kind of saves little fingers from getting burnt too, if you have little ones around, which is nice. Um, you can get it at Ulta and at Target now, back in the bath section, and also on their website, which I will put a link to below. Now when I'm doing my curls, I will section my hair off. If I want tighter curls, then I will do more sections. If I'm just looking for more loose waves, um, I will just do a couple of sections, and especially if I'm in a hurry, I'll only do a couple of sections. So I'm gonna do that today, and I'm gonna section it evenly off here. Secure the top half out of the way with an elastic, or you can use a clip. And then use a heat protectant if you want. I have a great oil that I put in my hair um, after the shower when I'm blow drying it, um, which also acts as a heat protectant. So that's what I've got in right now already. And then I'm gonna take a fairly decent sized section. If you want tighter curls, again, you're just gonna do a smaller section. And I am going to start here at the root and wrap around. And you can use a, um, a glove on your hand if you don't want to get burned if you're new at it. Once you're used to it, you can do it pretty well without the glove. And then release. If you have a really hard time getting your curls to stay in, then what you can do is wind it back up and clip it with bobby pins. Um, or a duckbill clip. The duckbill clip usually works a little bit better for not leaving a crease across it. Sometimes your bobby pins will leave a crease. Um, and then you just pin it up until it cools and then let it down. And that sets your curls and they are not gonna go anywhere. And I am going to curl back away from my face. And also I'm gonna go in the same direction if you want your curls to be a little more defined and stand out, then alternate. So if I wanted a really, you know, curly look, I would do this one forward. Um, but I always like to do my face, oh wait, I always like to do around my face going back away from it. So I am just going to do this side of my head here, all of them going back. Now you can already kind of see by doing them all the same direction, I'm getting more of a wavy look. Um, and I held these about 10 to 12 seconds. If you um, want, you can hold them just a little bit longer. Um, if I want it to be more defined, sometimes I'll hold it up to 15 seconds or well, counting to 15, which isn't quite 15 seconds. Um, and now I'm gonna do the other side and I am going to start by my face and I am going to be curling them all back. Okay. 
Okay, before I move on to the next section, I just kind of like to make sure I don't have any sections that I missed or that have loosened up too much. Um, and then I'll recurl them now if need be. Pretty good. So I'll let down my next section and I will repeat that same process on this section. Once I'm done curling it, I just like to comb through it gently with my fingers to loosen it and soften the look. And it gives you that just soft, pretty curl um, that you're looking for and that's so in right now versus the really tight curls, um, the ringlets, which I think are still darling on my girls and I love. But for myself, I just want kind of that really soft, feminine curl. If you want it a little bit softer than this even you're going to want to use a bigger curling wand um the one i'm using today was uh this is a 25 millimeter one um i have another curling wand that's a little bit smaller and even doing it in two sections it'll still give me tighter waves than this um and then if you want it even looser you would just use your bigger curling wand so here's the final look for my curls And this gives you a great base for any braided hairstyle. Um, it just makes it look so much prettier and softer and I'll use this way. I'll either wear it just like this or I'll do a style after I've curled my hair. So um, I hope you like this tutorial and that it helps you at home and that you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and videos. And I'll see you on the next one.